The internal resistance of the emitter is 100 ohms and the current capacity is 2 milliampere. Now this emitter needs to measure 5 ampere. So question is how much, uh, what is the resistance needed for, to do that? So basically this is the meter here. Uh, let's call this the meter. And this one has a current capacity of 2 milliampere and the resistance is 100 ohms. Now the current that needs to be measured is 5 ampere, the range is, the, so basically we need a range of 5 ampere, so a shunt resistance has to be added and we need to find what is the value of this resistance. So basically the current that will go through the meter is 2, two milliampere, so the current that will go through this one is 5 minus, uh, so if I convert the milliampere to ampere, this 0 0.002 so that is the current that will go through this branch so basically the resistance that we will need is R is this is the current that goes through the meter and this is the voltage drop so this is the voltage drop uh, let me just do redo this part so basically the voltage drop that is across this one will be uh, this one and this one has the same voltage drop so the voltage drop across the meter is 2 milliampere so that's 2.002 times 100 and this the current through this uh, path is 5 minus 0 0.002 so the resistance that is needed is uh, whatever it is that's what we need to find so the formula will be like this 0 0.002 times 100 and then this is 5 minus 0 0.002 and if we do it it is point uh, that's 0 0.04 ohms so this is the shunt resistance that is needed